Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Century Countess. In today's video, we're going to be doing um, part two of the fan fiction character brought to life through doll size. Um, as you know, I had some technical difficulties on my phone, which is why it's a two part. I had to clear some stuff off my phone in order to um, salvage some free space. Unfortunately, most of the project was lost. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I had done. So, so here's the dress. Here's a flashback we'll from part one where it. I'm dying uh, the dress I'm of acrylic dye. Um, it's water. just basically liquidated like acrylic make sure water. All and the then you use so while our uh, hair dry dress, which is easier to dye. Just go ahead and, um, and I'll go into details about other ways of dyeing fabrics, you know, what color to be best. So I'm going to go ahead and just here and put it in. You'll Start find out in the beginning of part two, but this is just a recap of part what happens one. next. Um, As you can we're see, we're going to let it soak for about an hour like where it was actually dyed. And then and right after we end this sequence, you'll it's get to see fixed. the aftermath. And then we're going to let it air dry um, and then basically wash it out into the bath. See what comes out. And see if here comes to part two of our video so, now. So, um, off camera, um, I dyed the dress, as you saw, the little bit of it. I let it soak. Now it's been laying out for a few days, absorbing the paint dye that I made. And as you can see, it's a little stiff, but we're not done yet. So what we need to do is get either some cold, the lukewarm water with a little bit of soap, and we just put it in there. And then what this is going to do, it's going to remove the excess dye. Um, it may or may not lighten up your outfit, so you might have to... <coughs> redo this a little bit or if you're wanting to lighten it up in case you thought it was too dark perfect but occasionally it might lighten up sometimes it may not but from what it looks like from what little bit that i can see it is not running it's not um it's not coming off so that's good that's a good sign so we're going to have a nice beautiful kind of reddish pink dress which is perfect we're going to let that kind of soak in this bath for about an hour and we'll get back to you around that time. So stay tuned. Hi everyone. So we let it soak for an hour. Then I put it on a towel as flat as I could and let it dry overnight. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to iron it. And since it's cotton, I'm going to see how it will work with a cotton setting and you know this is just to you know make this is when you want to um, shape the pieces how you want it so that when you iron through it it permanently basically is trained to sit that way so we want this to kind of flare out so let's that as much as we can little crease out as much as we can. Um, and you want to repeat. Also, um, if you want to do this with Barbie doll clothes, be sure that they're a very light color or a white. Like, let's say you have a wedding dress and you don't like it as a wedding dress, you want to make it a different color because it looks like a dress that you're looking for. So like, let's say you found a puff sleeve dress or a that looks very similar to the dress that's in Little Mermaid. You have an aerial doll, but instead of um, wanting to do the uh, wedding dress, Ariel doll, you want to do the pink uh, dinner dress that we see in the movie. So, just you know, make sure it's a white dress of puff sleeves. Um, let's see, maybe do a color test just to see 
if the fabric can accept the color, but do it in a small area because it's probably going to show when you fully dye it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, also the age of the dress. If it's a vintage dress, like a, a Barbie from the 50s or 60s, um, probably not a good idea because that fabric is old and it might um, ruin the dress entirely. So I would probably say any dress that's like around maybe late 70s, 80s, 90s, possibly it might work. Or if you can find a, um, what is that girl's name? The one from Enchanted, I think that's the name of the movie. The girl who um, started out as a cartoon, she was getting married and then she ended up climbing out of a sewer in New York as a real person. I can't think of that name in the movie, but I'm sure you know what I mean. So if you can find that type of dress, I would, you know, that would work. That's um, around a 2006, 2008 movie. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that type of dress would work. Um, but nothing below late 70s. So like I said, um, late 70s, 80s, um, 90s, that type of material might work if you have a vintage you dress, but nothing below that. Or, um, like I said, cotton fab dresses, they work, um, but like I said, they need to be a very light color, like kind of like an off white color, like or a pastel color. Um, light pinks, lavenders, very, very pale yellows, off white. Um, ivory and just white those would work but anything that's a little bit of more of a darker color unless you're going to color it a whole other darker color it might work but some doll dresses if they're not if they're not white they may not work so it's a gamble so I always so if you decide to do this with a Barbie dress I suggest like go with white so that's the ironing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same with the ribbon it doesn't need that much and then we'll do the ensemble so here she is um fully complete hair is done little hair accessory was added it was the it was a white rose but it was stained with the same fabric dye that i made with the acrylic paint before i tossed it out so it would match the dress um i redid her lips because they were a little bit chappy looking uh let's see this is the full view of her hair. I put some sewing thread into it to stitch it into place because the gel was not enough this time. And um, so, yeah, now, um, so this is what we have. So let's, uh, let's see the full assembly, shall we? Let's see our young Katrina, Katarina Facilier. What are you doing? Wailing over something that happened years ago isn't going to change anything. I've been here for what feels like centuries. And you're still wailing about your failures. Failures? I'm not the only one that's a failure. Who else is here with me? You're the ultimate failure. While my scheme was quite good, yours was all for vanity. 
you lost over a pretty face. <laughs> Vanity, you know nothing of my pain. I lost because of some foul-smelling seven little rodents. You, on the other hand, lost to sushi. <laughs> and now here we are, stuck in a limbo of gray and white, dressed in rags. You lost your tentacles and your powers, and your two minions. Do you really think I feel sorry for you? Do you really think I feel sorry for you? It's worse enough we have to stick this out together. If only we had a miracle. <laughs> now did someone call for a miracle? Majesty. Hello, Ursula. I have been wanting to meet you from some time now. Who are you and how did you get here? It is impossible to get into this limbo cursed realm. What are you doing here and what is your purpose? Why would you want to meet me and this former squid? Sea witch is much more appropriate. Relax. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Now then, I think it's time I brought you back your precious gifts of magic. Are those what I think they are? They have to be. Grimhilda, those are artifacts of magic. No doubt. And I'm sure there is a catch to such a precious gift. Not one that you would not like. I am offering you the chance to join me. Fulfill your vengeances. Take on Ariel. Take on Snow White. Join me in my growing army of villainesses. And all will be well. Take your magic back. Take your powers. It's a deal. Isn't it amazing, person? The magic has returned. And now, we can fulfill our vengeance. All because of you. Yes. You, our dear friend. What is your name? May I ask? I think 